What's good, guys? Prince Sports here. Man, it's kind of hot early, you know what I'm saying? But I want to talk to you guys today about none other than Russell Westbrook. Now, when you think of Russell Westbrook, okay, especially in years past, the first thought that come to mind was warrior, a guy that never quits. Um, he plays hard. He goes out there and tries to win his way. All right. He tries to force his will and his determination and desire to win on you. OK, he tries to do all of that. And for good or bad, that's Russell Westbrook. OK, even though he didn't have the talent of a Kobe Bryant or a Michael Jordan, guys that had the same killer instinct, supposedly, um, as Russell Westbrook. Right. But here's the difference. Russell Westbrook has become a ghost of his own shadow. Now, what do I mean by that? When you become a multiple time all star, you have uh, multiple seasons where you broke Oscar Robinson's record when you average a triple double. All right. You became a superstar. OK, he lost his desire, his hunger to win. OK, remember Lloyd Banks album, The Hunger for More? Well, that is Russell Westbrook reversed. OK, he has no hunger to win no more. All right. He came complacent. OK, it's like Rocky three. Remember, he was all successful, chilling up in his mansion. And all the talk was some hungry beast from the slums to wake him back up. Boom. And TKO. You know, I pity the fool. <laughs> all right. So that is what Russell Westbrook is facing. OK. Now, if you look at Russell Westbrook, he said a lot and did a lot of things that could back up my claims. OK. Forget the wearing the dress. People clowning him, calling him Russell West dress. Now, guys like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, they would never be trying to make their basketball career a fashion contest. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to let that slide because that's only between Russell Westbrook and himself. But I personally, as a competitor, won't be worried about fashion and trying to put on a dress and promote that. I don't know what that's about. But there's two things that he did that you guys didn't recognize. When he was on the Washington Wizards, he said something to the degree, I don't care about winning championships because most of the guys that won championships aren't as happy or living a better lifestyle than me. What are you thinking? Who would say something that crazy and stupid? Okay? Other than somebody that's complacent, that don't care about winning anymore. If you're a competitor and you're playing basketball and you're a superstar, your number one goal should be winning a championship. If you don't care about winning a championship, you don't deserve to be an NBA player. You never make comments like that. I don't care who or what the situation is. If you're playing pro basketball and you get a jersey on and you represent for your team, you never say comments like that. I don't even think LeBron James would say, I don't care about winning championships. I don't think I would ever heard other those a superstar other utter those words out of his mouth. I never, never would he say something like that, right? That's the biggest strike. But then he's continued to give you reasons to doubt him. Look what he said with the Lakers. He had no expectations. So you join a team with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and you had no expectations to win. I never seen a great player do that before. Never. So these are perfect examples that you don't want to win. These are perfect examples that you don't care about winning anymore. You know, you could make a case that even when he made the, the comment like, oh, you know, playing with James Harden, um, tuck the ball out of my hands and tuck the stats away from me. He been lost it, dog. He been a guy that lost it, but you didn't recognize it because he wasn't on a star-studded team where the spotlight is on you every single night. You know, Washington Wizards, nobody cared about what he did in the Washington Wizards because it's a small market. And with the Rockets, Rockets is in Houston, and it was a championship contender to a certain extent, but he was able to get away with certain things 
as a Washington Wizard. I mean, as a Houston Rocket, because it wasn't as big as being playing for the Los Angeles Lakers. But Russell Westbrook is one of those dudes that you could look at and say has completely almost fell off the map. You know, mainly because this that gave him the edge over people is missing. He needs to find his heart back and come back to Russell Westbrook. It's just that simple. Press Sports out. Peace.